guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been uploading as I normally do. It was the holy month of Ramadan last month, and I really just wanted to focus spiritually on Ramadan this year. It was so amazing for all of my Muslim viewers. I hope you had a wonderful Ramadan, and I wish you a happy Eid for both yourselves as well as your families. Back. I'm back with new content, and I'm so excited because there's going to be so many new releases coming out very soon. And today I have a new video on on Charlotte Tilbury's new Look of Love collection. I have her palette in Glowing Beauty as well as the new Matte Revolution lipstick in Wedding Bells. So I went ahead and put both of these to the test. I'm also going to be comparing and contrasting some other releases by Charlotte Tilbury to see if this is really worth it. Before we get into today's video, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Okay. Okay, let's get right into it. We're gonna start off with the palette. Now this one is the Glowing Beauty palette. Now Charlotte Tilbury did come out with two different shade ranges. One of them is a lighter palette and this one is the darker one. I chose to go with the darker one just mainly because of the bronzer and I will go ahead and compare the medium type of bronzers. I do have them both in the Airbrush Flawless as well as just the regular bronzer. And I just feel like they're so light on me. So I thought going with the darker one might be better but we'll see okay oh these are so pretty and also i don't know i don't think this is too dark but we'll see the pigment of it it might be a little bit dark when i apply it on but i don't know i feel like this is going to be perfect for my complexion all right so let's go ahead and start off with the face powder and this truly is an all-in-one palette. It has a face powder, it has a highlight, a blush, a bronzer, and then these three shades is an eyeshadow. So it's really perfect for travel. Okay, so I believe this is the airbrush um, type of formula in her face powder. I just like to put some underneath my eye. I also like to apply a little bit around my smile line just so nothing creases. Okay, let me show you the palette itself. It is beautiful, this really beautiful rose gold type of packaging. And I believe there's a, a little plastic on this. There we go. It's just really, really beautiful. And these are the shades. Now, Charlotte Tilbury has come out with a all-in-one type of palette like this before. I never thought they were anything special. I didn't really enjoy the colors that were in there, but this palette definitely is different. I love the eyeshadows that are in there. They're just so pigmented. I'm going to do my eyeshadow first. So we're gonna go into this shade here. This is the Brighton shade. I'm just gonna apply this all over. This is such a gorgeous shade. I really love Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows. I think the formula is one of the best out there. And I don't think this palette is dark, at least not yet. So let's go ahead and go into the next shade. I am going to pick up this smoke shade right here and just go ahead and shade that in my outer corner. We're just gonna pick up a little bit more of that darker shade and I'm just going to line underneath my waterline. For the last step, we are going to go ahead and pick up some of this enhanced shade and I'm just going to dab that right in the inner corner. This almost reminds me of the Exagger Eyes 
palette. So let me grab that and we can go ahead and compare okay. it. So now that I opened both of them, I definitely see a difference. This one is the Exagger Eyes and I use this palette so much. It is one of my all time favorite palettes from Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's so flattering and it goes literally with every single outfit. But I feel that this palette has more of a pink type of undertone, um, but Nonetheless, it's probably a darker version of the Exagger Eyes palette, but let's go ahead and swatch them. When I do swatch them, I do see a similarity. So this is the new palette. So we have the smoke shade, we have the highlight shade, and then we have that brighten shade. And then this is the Exagger Eyes. So even though the colors are not exactly the same, they do look somewhat similar. I just applied some mascara today. I did use the Legendary Lashes Volume 2 by Charlotte Tilbury. So that finished the eye look. I think it's very pretty and very minimal, just beautiful. Next, we're going to move into the bronzer. And this is the reason why I purchased the darker palette. Let's just go ahead and swatch the different bronzers first. So I do have the Bronze and Glow palette. And this is the bronzer that comes in this one. This one is in fair medium and it's so light on me. This one here is the bronze and glow and this is the new palette. Definitely a major difference. I also have the airbrush bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury. So let's go ahead and compare that one. Now this one is in shade medium and I always felt that this one was too light as well. So a little bit darker than the bronze and glow but still, I really feel that the new palette with the darker shade will work better on me. So we have the Instant Look of Love palette, and this one is in the Glowing Beauty palette. We have the Bronze and Glow in Fair Medium, and then we have the Airbrush Flawless Bronzer, and this one is in Medium. With that said, let's go ahead and put it to the test. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of the bronzer. Ooh, really is pigmented on the brush. Anytime you pick up too much, just go ahead and pat it on the back of your hand. It takes off a little bit of the excess. And let's try it out. This is the perfect shade for me. Absolutely. This is with the bronzer and this is without. So such a difference, isn't it? I love how bronzers kind of just pull your face together and gives you that illusion that you have higher cheekbones. There we go, the bronzer is all done. You could definitely go ahead and layer this. It's such a beautiful shade. And I think if you guys have similar complexion to mine, go with the darker palette. You definitely won't regret it. Now let's go in to the blush. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at how dark that looks. Okay, let's just take some off, see what the color is like first, and then we can always add some more. Ooh, a little bit definitely goes a long way. This is gorgeous. This really is an all-in-one palette. You know how with larger palettes like these, you have maybe one or two shades that are very nice, and then you have those duds that really shouldn't even be in the palette. I feel like every shade I've used up till now, they've really been great. Oh, look at that shade, so pretty. Then last but not least, we have the highlighter here. This is more of a champagne type of highlighter. I feel that Charlotte Tilbury does highlighters very well. A very subtle champagne highlighter, very beautiful. I love the bronzer, I love the blush, and the eye looks look so good. This is such a beautiful all-in-one palette. For the Matte Revolution lipstick, this one is in shade Wedding Bells. I thought this was so beautiful. And the packaging is so pretty. It's a rose gold type of lipstick. It has little diamonds right on there. Okay, this shade is so gorgeous. I feel that the Pillow Talk lip liner would look beautiful with this shade, but I'm just gonna go ahead and try it as is. I really wanna show you what the shade looks like on its own.
And that's the finished look. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the lip shade. So pretty. And this entire palette is gorgeous. I love everything about this palette the eyeshadows are beautiful i love the bronzer i think this is the perfect shade and i love that blush so pretty the highlight is pretty it just all goes so well together and it's just a one and done type of palette perfect for weddings or a night out it's just really pretty gorgeous effortless so easy to apply really literally is a five minute and done type of palette so beautiful the lip shade is gorgeous i think it goes so well with this palette just such a beautiful look i think all together this is so pretty so easy to use and that's my review of charlotte tilbury's new instant look of love releases i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i hope it made it easier for you to make some choices from this collection be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell to get notified when i upload new videos thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next video video.